With the help of summaries, you can condense, summarize and abstract your material in MaxQDA in your own words. This happens mainly in two work phases, which we will look at one after the other in the following. Thus, you can create your summaries using the summary grid and later analyze them in detail using summary tables and the summary explorer. The prerequisite for creating summaries is that we have already coded the text we want to work with. It doesn't matter whether we have gone through the text step by step and assigned codes manually, or whether we have created codes automatically for certain search terms with the help of text search and autocoding. The summaries function can be found in the analysis tab. With the summary grid, we can now create our first summaries. In this grid, the codes from our project are displayed in the rows. The columns stand for the documents. With these buttons, we can also display the summary grid for activated documents and codes only. The blue symbols in the boxes indicate that the corresponding code has been assigned in the document. Up here, we can also switch the display to a numerical view, which shows us precisely how often a specific code appears in a document. And if we click on one of the boxes, we are shown segments from the selected document that have been coded with the corresponding code in the upper window on the right hand side. For these coded segments, we can use the buttons here to display the origin information, edit comments and assign memos. In the window below, we can now write our first summary. As soon as we have created our first summaries, they will be displayed as green boxes at the nodes. Of course, we can still edit our summaries later on and also check the spelling. We can now display our summaries and summary tables. We can create a new summary table either via the Analysis tab or via the Summary Grid toolbar. First, the following window opens. After clicking this button here, we can start off by selecting which codes we want to include. If we do not select anything here, all codes for which summaries have been created will be used. Using the tab Select Variables, you can also select which document variables should be displayed in the table as well. In the table that is then created, the selected documents form the rows and the codes form the columns. The summaries written for each document are listed in the code columns. In the first column of the summary table, the document name and the document group are displayed for identification. If we have selected variables for the first column, they appear below the document name. Via drag and drop, we can now change the order of the columns. And by clicking on this button, we can limit the display of the columns to the currently activated codes. We can display the segments that belong to one of the cells in the table by right-clicking and using the function Display Summarized Coded Segments. In the table, we can also display the code segments instead of their summaries. For this, we simply right-click on the column header and select Display Coded Segments. We can also highlight the rows in the documents according to their color by clicking Highlight Rows in Document Color in the Start tab. Using the Summary table, we can also create summaries for codes and documents. To do this, we first set the table so that the documents are displayed at the top of the rows. Then double click on the memo symbol and write our summary here. Code and document summaries can also be opened from the four window interface. Simply open one of the memos for codes or documents and edit the summary. With the help of the Summary Explorer, you can examine different cases and groups with regard to their summaries. To do this, click on Summary Explorer in the Analysis tab and a dialog appears into which we can drag documents, document sets or groups. We can display the code structure in the original hierarchy and also show the origin information here. This makes it easy to compare the summaries for different documents, document groups or sets. In addition, we can easily display the summaries for different documents and codes by right-clicking on the respective documents or codes and selecting the overview of summaries from the context menu. This table shows us all the summaries that belong to the respective document or code.